What's going on guys? Welcome back. Rocky Mountain Rancher episode 57. Fall, fall, fall. It is real fall. What does that mean? It means chasing cows and bulls all over the world. Um, this time of year everybody's just a little bit restless and trying to find better grass somewhere else and uh, first part of this vlog is just us going and finding the rest of the cows that didn't escape miles down the road. They actually stayed where they were supposed to be. Uh, got those guys back home rounded up and hauled back home that was good um we took buster over to my buddy's place who is like a professional stock dog trainer guy and uh he did awesome you'll dig the the footage he was he was cool he picked it up so quick so i mean obviously he's a border collie you think he knows how to herd stuff but uh it's gonna be a lot of fun i'm excited for uh the future with him he'll uh he'll be my little cow herding buddy which i'm excited and i could have used him Yesterday, I ended up chasing this crazy wild bull. Um, I kind of did my numbers wrong and had an extra bull where I didn't think I did. And then he just showed up. So I had to get him off the mountain by myself with a couple panels and it worked, surprisingly. I mean, that was the plan all along, but you never know. The plan's going to work, but it did work. So it was awesome. Anyway, you're going to see that too. But yeah, more fall stuff. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do. We're still trying to grow the channel and uh i enjoy doing it so give me a like give me a subscribe give me a share something like that i'd appreciate it anyway i'm glad you're here let's ride hey thanks Dana. steve heard some cows here we are live on the river uh, ro uh bovine recovery unit here is in full effect uh we are searching for some lost cows uh i'm presently in the river as you can see uh i did find this handy dandy cow herding net which is coming in handy right now pretty nicely uh, but we are looking for cows. It is that time of year, and you are just always looking for cows, uh, searching for them. Uh, they should be around here. I'm seeing lots of sign, so hopefully we will find them as my feet and my legs are getting pretty damn cold right now. So, anyway, I'll keep you updated. Uh, Steve heard some cows. Hey, thanks, Tina. Steve heard some cows back. Uh, we have located the cows. We have located some of the cows, as you can see anyway, uh, from behind me. Uh, they, they have been here in the field. Just kidding, they weren't in the field at all. Actually, they were in the neighbor's field across the river, uh, long, long, far away from where they were supposed to be. So uh, anyway, looks like we have found most of them. I need to count them. Um, but hey, that's something, right? That's something, positive thinking. Glass half full, okay.
today's adventure ranch dog 101 with this guy right here we are headed over to my buddy's place um, he trains and raises a bunch of really nice stock dogs and uh, dogs that know what they're doing know how to push cows and sheep and everything else and uh, me and little Buster we're gonna go take a little lesson we're gonna go learn firsthand how to do this stuff so uh, he kind of listens you know pretty good so uh should be a good time come along and uh see what we know or what we don't know i don't know we're gonna know soon enough so stay tuned It's all right. He shouldn't be using the command. He doesn't need to right now. We just want, oh, excuse me. We just want Buster to, yeah, let him get going good before you try and reverse him. Shh, 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 Good boy, guy. Come on, Buster. Shh, 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 shh. There you go. All the way around. Shh, 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 shh. Good. See it on his way side. Good. Shh, shh, shh. Just like that. Shh, shh, shh. Good. All right, now look for your spot. Can I get to the middle? Oh, kind of get to the middle. There you go. Come by now. Come. Shh, shh, shh. Perfect. Just like that. Look at that. This isn't going to be very hard. Oh, yeah. Go away. Go away. Nice. Look at that. Good job. This isn't going to be very hard. No. There you go. That's it. See? And now your dog is, he has it. He's balancing. That's All better. Right. Now let's see if we can get a lie down out of him, pal. <laughs> lay down. Lay down. One. Just one. Nice. <laughs> Good. Good man, bus. All right. Oh. Good man, man. All right. Now, let me uh, bring him on over here. Let, let me promptly proceed to say 18, 19, and 20 of the 24. So you were asking me why we didn't want to use vocabulary. There's really only one What we really want, we want to be sure that that, that bouncing instinct is awakened in him. I mean, it really has that down. Because I have had dogs that I trained to go around the sheep instead of waking up that instinct and letting them go around the sheep. So it's kind of important, once we get way out there in the meadow, he, we want Buster to balance because that's what he does. He's watching him. You want to just take him around a couple more times? Yeah, sure. Yeah, this is right. cattle dog now. <laughs> and remember, lie down hay. When you're, rock, when you're in your pickup and you're driving to town and he's not with you, you just say that to yourself. Lie down hay, lie down hay, lie down hay. That's how you hay. get him to stop? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. The next thing out of your mouth after you say lie down is not lie down, but hey. <laughs> lie down, but lie down. Okay. If you All see right, it, Tate, it's like lay down pull. Let him start anyway, he'll start. Eventually, we're going to start him in a specific way, but let's just let him start. Good, good. Shh, shh, shh. Got a boy. Shh, shh, shh. Good. Shh, shh, shh. Good, that's it. Or whatever. <laughs> I got it. Your dog won't probably want to lie down real well until he's in balance. Because he's once that wakes up in him, Kyle, he wants to be sure he's got the sheep. So if he's over here and the sheep are over here and you ask him to lie down, he might not. But once the, I mean, you actually saw that, once he felt like he had command of the sheep and you were in the right spot, then he took that lie down. So you gotta kind of watch. He was, I, I kind of goofed that up for you a little bit. I told you to ask him and he was really hustling to get around him which is good that's just what we want to see mm -hmm. but if he's hustling like that he probably won't take it yeah. so wait till he gets in a good position with the sheep and he's got him we would say in balance so that means he would probably turn towards the sheep and you and then if you ask him for that then he'll probably get it okay. back up <laughs> see nice if you can catch, see if you can get a reverse out of it just like you did in the pen good buster <laughs> there you go look at that perfect Step right through. Whoop. Oh, that's all right. Uh, Too many sheep. Uh, that's all right. There you go. Step right through. Good. Good. Now see if we can get a reverse out of him. 
Okay, now move back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just... <laughs> okay, we'll move you back. Now step in front. There you go. Nice. There you go. Perfect. Now let's nice. get down to the Take out of that corner a little bit if you can. Walk down to the middle of the pen if you can. Let's get out of that corner. Might take two or three loops to do it. <laughs> there we go. Good. Nice. But see now we're getting him to go on his away side and that's good because we're building some comfort with him to go away. All right now. Yeah, he's got that. Now see if you can back up and get a lie down out of it. Once he gets there and he starts to bring them, then if you were a young guy, lie down. Watch it. Then once I go counterclockwise, that's it. We, it we, it we, and then if I go clockwise, I just say come by, Kate, come by. Come by, Kate. There we go. Lie down. Now we, now we, and that puts in his mind. Lie down. That puts in his, that associates him going that direction with the command, come by or away. And it's kind of shocking, but it doesn't take very long when they get that. So every well-bred border collie. Well, y'all, it's finally here. I hate to say it. I mean, I don't know if it's winter, but it is definitely snowing up here. Uh, it's cold. It's cold, Buster. It's cold. And, uh, yeah, it's it's feeling feeling pretty wintry up here. I'm just up here checking the cows. Uh, you know, making sure everybody's happy and, and good up here. Still plenty of pasture, but you can see behind me, it's snowing. The higher you go up in the mountains, it is definitely snowing. I know I've been in denial for long enough, but, uh, yeah. I mean, it might melt tomorrow. Who knows? We can't say it's it's totally, we're, we're totally winter, like full blast, but you know, this is, this is cold. Got the winter jacket out. Got the muck boots out. I mean, it's, it's cold. So anyway, just an update. It is October. So, you know, that's normal this time of year too. But uh, look at this guy. He's loving it. He don't care. He was born in the winter. He loves winter. Anyway, we'll update you soon. This might melt tomorrow, who knows? Okay, today's mission. Um, I thought I was done wrangling all these wild bulls, but I guess not. Uh, I was kind of wrong on my count, I guess, with, uh, with these bulls. I thought we'd only put uh, two up here at this lease we have. And I wrote down two, but then I didn't read all my other planner, uh, you know, a couple days later that we actually took another bull up here. So anyway, we are up here. And uh, I guess uh, my cousin called me and told me that we're, there's a bull up here still. So um, hopefully we'll be able to get him in today. Um, I'm just brought myself and the trailer and I'm gonna set up a couple panels and see if he's just chill enough to uh, walk down to the county road and hop in the trailer. So I don't know. We're gonna see how it goes. It could be a total mess. It might not work at all or it might work uh, magically. So we'll see. Okay, I got everything set up, I think. As good as it's gonna be anyway. The plan is, he's over there in the little creek bottom there. I'm gonna cut the fence, get him on the county road, bring him down the county road, hopefully in the, in the entrance here. I'm hoping he's nice, I have no idea. This dude could be crazy, but hopefully he's nice and chill. Get him in here, run him along the fence. Run them along the fence, right in the trailer. Easy peasy. Everybody's happy going back home. Man, it was easy. It was good. We'll see how that actually plays out. Stay tuned. Okay, so here he is. See those little ears? There's our target. Hopefully push him through the fence, down to the trailer. That's the plan. We'll see. First you gotta take the fence down in a decent spot. We're not gonna push them all the way down. There's nowhere to go. Oh. Come on, Bubba. Let's go. Let's go. I opened the fence for you. Let's go, Bubba. Come on. Come on. 
Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Shh, 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 shh. You're there. Shh. Come on, dude. Just get on the road. You're right there. Shh. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Bubba. Let's go. You're all right. You're all right. Come on, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Man, love it when a plan comes together. But that's what I'm talking about. Thanks, dude. I told you, man. You just be cool. I'm gonna get you back home, man. Thank you. Good call. All right, man. We got all my sweet corrals loaded up. Got the four wheeler loaded up, barely. I got my new buddy in there. He's ready to go back home. Which I don't blame you, man. It sucks up here by yourself, man. Hanging out with rattlesnakes all day. It's never fun. Anyway, we'll get you back home, dude. Get you doctored up and uh, yeah, man, good deal. I'll tell you, days like this are incredibly rewarding, mainly because I know how long it can take to do something like this. I mean, I don't know if you guys remember a bunch of vlogs ago, uh, we were, I was trying to trap this bull and it took like a month to get this bull to a spot where we could trap him with like a trap gate. So when you do something like this, it's super rewarding. Um, I know he's ready and happy to go home and. Um, I love it when a plan comes together. Not that I didn't think it would work, but stuff like this, you never know. It's like you plan it out as best you can, but you're also dealing with an animal. So they can kind of do whatever they want. They're way bigger than us. So when it works out and kind of everybody's on the same page, it's pretty awesome feeling. So yeah, good day ranching for sure. Who's super pumped to be back home. Yeah, dude. Go find your ladies, homie. Way better than Sleeping Giant.